What is up everybody? I'm back with another video. And as you can tell what I got in front of me is a couple trucks. Um, I actually had a couple of these trucks laying around and um, I decided I'm gonna do a little little cab swap. I think we're gonna do a little cab swap on the red truck. I do have a bunch of these, or actually I got a few of these um, red flatbeds. So I think, hey, let's make something out. Let's make a different color flatbed. So that's what we're gonna do today. So as you can tell, I've got a blue one and I've got a yellow one. I'm not 100% sure yet. So I'm just going to dig into, I think I'm really, really thinking about the blue one just because I think it's kind of a cool truck. And I'll just, I'll just do something with the rest of the, I'll do, I'll put the um, utility bed on the yellow truck and we'll make it into a custom truck and sell it. So we're going to get right into this. And I think I'm deciding on the blue. I think the blue would look really good. I know this truck right here is already tore apart. Um, I actually bought this from one of the one of my followers on Instagram, and uh, trying to figure out something to do with it. We might end up doing a flatbed later on on that truck as well. I'm gonna get my drill out real quick before I kind of skip to the good part of putting the truck all back together. Um, so. Uh, hopefully everybody is enjoying all these crazy videos. I hope you guys enjoyed the last video on the uh, um, on the single cab truck, on the single cab F350 build. Uh, that truck's super fun truck. I'm super excited to get that truck done. Um, as you can tell, we're, we're going to use a little M12 Milwaukee uh, fuel, and uh, we're just going to drill her out. That's why you guys, I don't want, I don't want you guys to have to listen to the sound. So I'm going to go ahead and drill these two trucks out. I'll catch you guys in just a second. All right, guys. So I ended up, I got the trucks all tore apart here. As you can tell, I got them all, all torn apart into pieces and stuff like that. All that good stuff. Got everything out of the trucks. Um, one thing I do think I want to do, as long as I can get everything off, is I want to try and take off the front bumper and the grill out of this truck and hopefully swap it over to this truck. So hopefully we can get all this out um, of the red truck. So I don't know exactly how everybody does this. So sometimes I break stuff. Sometimes sometimes stuff comes out pretty easily. Just kind of depends. Sometimes I'll think see what I'm doing. So I don't want to mess up the truck either or mess up the paint on the truck, I should say. Oh, there we go. So we got ourselves a nice, nice, uh, let's try to pull this out of here. We got us a nice grill. Looks like um, they did not glue their headlights in either. So we might might be able to pull them out sometime and actually do a little work in the inside of the headlights there as well. So we're just going to try and do the same exact with this one. We're just going to try and see if we can't pull it up here. This one might actually be glued down, but we might still be able to work with it. You never know. If not, I got a hundred thousand Chevrolet grills, so we'll see what we can do. Or bumpers. What did I say? I think I said grills. All right, so we got that one off. So now what we're going to do is we're just going to slowly pull up. Oh, didn't break anything, did we? All right, so we're just going to come over to this side. Hopefully pull this up without breaking anything. I don't like breaking stuff, but I do it a lot. So, all right. so let's go ahead and cut these off here. And then we're going to drill the hole back out. So that way we can just attach our grill back to it and uh, go to town on it. So let me go ahead and get them drilled out. I'll catch you guys in just a second. All right, guys. So... I did get the grill put into place. As you can tell, that little headlight just ain't want to stay in there. So we're actually going to go ahead and leave it just like this for now. I'm not going to glue anything just because I might want to actually put the, uh, I might want to do some work to the headlights later on. So that I'm not going to mess with right now. So now what we're going to be doing is we're going to be putting on this little front bumper here as long as we can get it. Get it on there. So we're just gonna push it on. Hopefully we can get it all the way on there without breaking too much stuff. 
So we'll just try to use that side. All right, so now we got our chrome front bumper and grill in the truck. I do really think that looks a heck of a lot better than I do on the uh, on the regular truck or on that was original in this truck, which was that gray color or whatever. So as you can tell on the Dodges, on the fifth gen Dodges, the uh, cabs are a little different from the flatbed to the regular bed or utility bed or whatever. I do believe, I don't think Dodge has a utility bed, a fifth gen utility bed yet, um, but they have a little notch on them. But as you can tell, the actual green light Chevy is the same exact. So we can just go ahead and pop the actual, um, actual flatbed on this truck. So we're just gonna do that right now, as long as everything goes into place. All right, so we can just pop that back on there just like that. Oh man, this is already looking good. All right, so now we need a dash. Uh, where'd my dash go? Uh oh, oh, there it is. So I didn't, I didn't lose nothing. I didn't lose anything. So now we can just pop our interior back in it. Can you see what I'm doing? I hope. So we're just gonna pop her in there just like that. Oh, there's a hair. Whoa, throw that away. So now what we can do is we can just pop our little, one, little uh, frame back on it here. Pop everything into place. Make sure everything's nice and pushed down on the truck. And bam, we got ourselves a blue, whoa, little headlights trying to go get out of there. But we got ourselves a blue flatbed Chevy. Um, I really think this looks pretty dang good if you ask me. Um, I'm not 100% sure if they made a blue, blue flatbed, but I got one now. That's all I can say. I do really like the uh, like the blue color. I really love the red too, but I have a bunch of those. I think I have three or four. Actually, I got four of them. I got one sitting right here as well. And uh, so this one here, I don't know if you guys have seen this truck before. I'm sure you have. It is on my Instagram, and I'm sure it's probably been on YouTube as well. But I really love the looks of this truck. I love the uh, actual blue on this truck. And now I got a little utility bed. And uh, now we're going to have to throw this truck together real quick. We'll go ahead and do this real fast. Just so you guys are like, hey, you didn't put that other truck back together. Just put it back together. All right, so we're going to put it back together real quick. We're going to throw a little front bumper on it and um, everything like that. So we'll just slide her back on there. Just like that. And... Uh, We'll slide the grill back in it as well. And actually, I messed up this grill a little bit, so it probably won't stay popped in there into place uh, just because I uh, broke the little nipples off of both sides of the grill, so we might have to glue that one in there. But this will be a later on custom truck that we will do. Um, just let me know what you guys would want to see out of this truck. I think that'd be kind of cool. Uh, if you guys want to see something crazy with this truck, maybe like a... Uh, Maybe like a custom service bed truck or maybe a, I don't know, whatever you guys think. Um, maybe just an old plumber's truck or something like that. Hey, I'm a plumber. Might might have to build me a truck. And I don't know. We'll see what happens with that truck. But I hope you guys enjoyed this little build. Um, just a little frame swap. Nothing too crazy. I didn't figure um, I'll throw a little video together and show you guys how you do a little frame swap. It's nothing too crazy. And uh I'm sure a lot of you guys know how to do a frame swap. It's not really a how-to video. It's just a, I want to do it video. So I figured I'll just throw it on YouTube so you guys can see it as well. Um, and I really thought the Chrome would look a lot better on this truck as well. I actually, um, this is a truck that I bought and uh, sold it. Or I bought it and sold it and then bought it back. And uh, so now I got a set of wheels that will be for sale very soon. Um, I don't think I plan on doing anything with these wheels. Um, I think they're they're not really my taste. Uh, the front or the uh, actual uh, lift kit does not come with it. I will be uh, doing that, doing uh, something with the front or with the little lift kit there. Um, so if you guys are interested in those wheels, please be sure to mes message me on Instagram. I'll be selling those. Um, I'll probably post them for sale very soon. So if you guys want to see them or want those wheels be sure to let me know and uh so yeah 
I hope you guys enjoyed this little uh, video of me just throwing this blue uh, flatbed Chevy together. And it's going to be an old farm truck. And uh, I do believe it's probably, probably one of my favorite flatbeds now. I like the blue color. I don't know. It might be hard to beat the old black truck. I do really like the black one as well. It's all dusty right now. Let me wipe it off before I put it on the camera. I can't can't put no dusty dusty trucks on the camera. I'm gonna go ahead and dust it off here real quick, so you guys ain't seeing no dusty old truck. So this truck here is probably one of my favorites. This was actually uh, one of my I think it was one of my first flatbeds that I actually bought um when i started getting into green lights and i will i will give you guys a little story time if you guys want to see it or hear a story time on some of my first green lights that i've had i actually got most of them still um i believe i actually the first one that started at all um i do still have that truck as well so if you guys want to hear a little story time be, be sure to comment below say hey i want to hear a little story time what 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 was the backstory on you building these trucks um be sure to be sure to give me a comment give me a like subscribe hit that little subscribe button be sure to turn on the little bell icon down there somewhere i know i say it every time but hey you gotta do it so you can you know when my videos are posting but with that being said i hope you guys enjoyed the video and i hope to see you guys in the next one